Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Master of Time. And here we are at the beautiful Lake Hylia of this uh, game. I know it's been a bit since I played this game, I just was... I've been really busy so just catching up, or keeping up rather, with uh, the... Uh, the um, the Skyward Sword videos was more of the priority, but I'm starting to get caught up and also can't sleep and was thinking about this game, so we're going to continue it. And last time I said that we were going to head to the Pirate Cove or Pirate Hideout or whatever it is. Let's check it out. Hmm. How did I get over there before? Wait, we have hover boots, right? Okay. Okay. Let's see here. We're gonna try this. Oh, that didn't work. Oh. At least I landed back up here. Let's see. I got this like stray hair. There we go. Um, crap, how do I get back up there? I need to load. And to lean on my elbows when I'm playing and makes me a little shorter. Could it be like that sometimes? Whoa, buddy. Nope. Like Mario in the shoes. Or, uh, actually, Billy like Luigi. What? Oh, dude, come on. Just gonna run away. Okay. Is there a way to actually make this? All right. Give me my stiff controls back. <laughs> oh my god. What did we find? The secret to everyone, guys. Dude. Oh, I thought that... Dude, oh my gosh. I thought that was a fish. I was... I was literally about to say random fish. You love to see it. Wow. It was making, like, no noise. I don't... It, like, it literally... To me, it looked like, um... Like, three or four fish swimming and they were like glitched or something like over top of each other well all right um
Dude, this is a wonky cave. This is weird. Whoa! They just... I don't know how they just descend. So freaking dark. Well, okay, so I have an idea. I might not, I might not keep this, but I'm gonna try and do the, um, the glitch where you can cast Pharaoh's Wind anywhere. I don't know if I just forgot how to do it and maybe I'm doing it wrong. Hmm. Oh well. We have a pirate hideout to I didn't even know. <laughs> wouldn't call it breaking into necessarily since pirates are notorious for you know not being quite the you know law-abiding citizen you might hope for. What in the... this isn't the pirates hideout? Who the heck are you? Well do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? No? I'm gonna adjust my camera for this. Alright. So. Thought I was in the pirate hideout. Am I gonna have to. game sometimes just I don't know very uh, bad gamma settings or black point maybe I don't know. I'm not <laughs> com completely you know an expert on you know image graphic photography whatever but I know enough uh so what is this little area is this is this just a fishing hole dude I can't use my so wait what can I use Hmm. 
I don't know. I'm trying to think of like any anything that I could technically use as a weapon or to deal damage at least. Oh, bet. Oh, no. Mm. Now, we have to get down there. Let's see, can I? I cast this. Um, what about this? Dang it! Is there nothing you can equip? Wow. Man, they really thought of everything. Okay. I guess I, you gotta do that fair and square. Uh, well, hopefully, I'll try to remember that that is there. Man, I really thought we were on our way to the, uh, the Pirate's Cove. What, did I get turned around somehow? I'm confused. Hmm. Let's, uh, dude, that is such a sketchy, like, ooh. Huh. Yeah, I guess that does have a fishing hole, um, sign. <laughs> well, we'll find the pirate cove. Dude, piece of heart up there too. Leave it to your boy James. Dude, this is so cool. For some reason, it reminds me of like a place that you would go in, like The Witcher Three, to be specific. Um, wonder how far you can swim out here. Yeah, you can even see the texture change. Alright. Oh, there might... Well, there still might be a secret. Let's keep swimming around. We finished scouting the perimeter. We're happy to report that we wasted three minutes of our time. Excellent. Good work. Oh boy. Alright, how do we get up here, though? Mm-hmm. Is that back way? Yes. Wait, can I get up over here, too? You gotta explore all your, all your routes. You always go the shortest one first, that way you can clear it.
quicker. Work your way up to the the way that you can tell is like the main path. All right, all right, okay, let's go. Okay, all right, I'm ready. Let's go. It's our birthday. What a ride, man. <laughs> I should think so. Knock it off. Leave me alone and I'll sell you arrows. 30 pieces, 70 rupees they are. Alright. Only because next time I see you, I'm putting an arrow through you. That sounded dark. I tried to sneak into the fortress, but I can't find any way to enter. Maybe you can try from the top of the lighthouse. If you can jump far enough. Top of the lighthouse. Sneak into the fortress. Got it. I guess they didn't, uh, use the... Um... The climbing animation or maybe is there not a climbing animation for I don't know but they use the walking through the door animation I'm starting to try and get into um, ROM hacking like learning how to do it and stuff okay here's the ledge if you can jump far enough Uh, okay. I thought this was just gonna be like a simple, here's the treasure up here. No, oh gosh. Barely made that. I would not have been happy if I had to re, um, re-climb around. Okay. No! Phew! I don't know if I've been playing Scoured Sword, I'm just used to the controls being kind of loose like that, but I thought I was going down. Alright, so what do we have here? This is... There's a switch. Um... Like my main priority is I want to make sure that I can get back up here if I go down. Got my arrows anyway. Alright, well. What's life without whimsy? Think I don't know how to play this game? Please. And look, I did exactly what I was trying to do. Made a way back up here through the, um, the place that I passed. And would have gone if I had not been uh, such a thorough... Adventure, but yeah, that's cool. It's cool. It's cool. All right, let's get into some regular boots. And you know what? Let's rock the rock the uh, the old Goron's tunic for a bit. Right. Dude up, Ted. Gonna be legend. Wait for it. Arrest. Alright. Hmm. Well, we can't go that way.
Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I can see clearly now. Although the rain is not gone. Ow! It would appear we require the uh, the longest of the shots. as it were. And we only have the uh, crusty old hook shot. Let's see, if we could make our way onto the... let me get... what am I doing? Alright uh, guys, part of the thing about uh, doing videos in the middle of the night when you can't sleep is uh, still got like the eye, eye boogage. But yeah, if I can get up on ooh hey what's up I can get onto the ship I could probably hook shot up there and sneak into the fortress um let's see Yeah. Oh. Beep. In case I get kicked out. Oh, buddy. But there's also a chest. What do I do? What do I do? Dang it. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. He's still down. Cool. I was really worried that, like, he was gonna wake up. It just depends on the, uh, on the game. In Majora's Mask, they are programmed to wake back up to force you to have to get the stone mask to, like, be invisible. But in Ocarina of Time, they stay passed out. You know one's around the corner. You know there is. Oh god. Alright, now I'm going to reuse Skull Kid Wind. that. Pose? Alright, where was the... Is this itchy scratchy boy? Ah, oh, there, there he is. In his natural habitat. Conto Papa. Hmm, yes. <laughs> oh, righty then. That's cool, bro. I didn't want you anyway. Oh, well. I would like to think that uh, a pirate hideout would be a good place to give me the long shot. And I think I deserve it. And, you know, I, I know I can't speak for everyone, but my exploration abilities were on par, I think we can all agree on that. Okay. Okay, ooh, hey, hey. Y'all can say it. Nice shooting text. Oh, well, thanks. Every corner is. There's a possibility of death. That was too real. 100 rupees for each paint. 250 for three. Bro, they're selling paintings. Hey. Now a piece of heart I can get behind. Um, how would one? Acquire that, do you think? Hmm. Yes, um, well, 
you know. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> Give me time to think. Okay, so I think I figured out how to get this piece of heart. We can't climb up there. So we obviously have to, and we also can't um, hook shot it. I tried that um, before anyone thinks like, try hook shot it. I already tried it. Tried hook shot it. It's not one of the hook shotable ones. Um, but as I was saying, like, since there is no feasible way of getting ourselves up on top of there, I'm, I'm trying to like explain like, because I've, I've been playing Zelda for years, so it's just intuitive for me to like think this way when I'm trying to figure out a puzzle that I don't automatically know the solution to. So, um, just a little bit of like insight into like how I figure out stuff or how I go about it as someone who's played for 20 years. Uh, literally. Um, anyway, so since we can't get ourselves up onto that uh, bookshelf, the only and we can't hookshot it, the only way to get to the bookshelf would be to jump to it from something of equal or close um, in height. And uh, obviously, you could jump from this bookcase. So we just we trace back that way. Okay, well, how do we get on this one? Is there any? Because you know we, you could say, well, you could get on this bookcase, but this bookcase and this bookcase, all the bookcases are way too tall. So saying you could jump to that one from this one doesn't really help because we run into the same problem. So we're still looking, so we just keep going around like, well, is there something around here? Maybe I can get onto it from here. That'd be close enough, or just around the corner. Can't really get on top of here. But we did find the paintings. Uh, what is it, 100 for... 100 each, 250 for all three. Where's the third one? Maybe that thing? I don't know. We'll get back to why there is not a third painting, I'm not sure. But, um, and we'll also get this chest here in a second. Anyway, so there's nothing over here we can cl climb up there with. So, you'd say, well, then clearly we're supposed to get there from this one. So, how do we get on this one? Obviously, there's still no way, um, Except getting from this one, and so while we were over here reading that uh, the note about the prices, I did notice that this wasn't flush up against the wall that we could climb up here. Um, and a part of me thought like, oh, maybe there's like a sculpture up there, but it was low enough that I could tell uh, there wasn't anything up there. Plus, like couldn't hear anything either, so it wasn't a skull chill on. Uh, our target, Navi didn't fly over to it. Um, or not Na Navi, but uh, Knight or whatever his name is. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. So the point is, is uh, yeah, we're going to have to get there from here. And I was trying a few different ways. I tried like jumping from here. Um, I tried jumping from here. I tried jumping, um, um, by the way, these chairs are weird, um, you can't climb up onto them, so, I'm show you. you can't climb up on them, see, like, normally when you walk towards things in Ocarina of Time, uh, or Majora's Mask, I guess, any N64 or Zelda, uh, the action icon, the blue one, changes. We can jump up here and see it's still not saying climb or whatever. 
So, we have to get up here from here. And all this is pointless anyway because as you'll go to see here in a moment, this doesn't work either. You, you can't even jump off of them. I've tried with the hover boots too. Um, just to show you. I just want everyone to see, like, I've exhausted all the options. And the, I guess the reason I'm doing this is because the solution I um, settled on is, uh, technically, like, I don't know if it's, it's a speedrunner trick, I mean it's, I guess it's not technically a glitch or whatever, but it may not be the actual intent of it. Yeah, see, you can't get over there. I even, I, would, I tried until I was like rolling up against it while still in the air and he wouldn't grab it. But anyway, on to the trick, so. Get up against the wall. Now see, you didn't hear the sword hit the wall. That means it's not going to work. So normally, you slash your sword, pause, change to the hover boots, and you go flying. But it didn't work because you have to wait until you're already flying backwards. So we have to listen for the audio cue. Got the audio cue, put on the hover boots. There we go. And just to be safe, I am going to pull up to the safe state real quick. Okay. So. Whoa. Good thing I did that. Also an easy way to stop if you, uh, Fly instead of like trying to roll backwards, just pause and take off the boots, and you'll just stop on a dime. Okay. Might have to do the same trick with this one. But first, since it's not froze down there, she's asleep kicking against something. Um, since it's not completely straight, we're gonna have to line this up. So. We're gonna do that. We're gonna wait for the camera to zoom out. We're gonna click back. Z target. And this is still gonna. You know what? We might be able to make it. It's too much of a headache. It just uh, rest in my gut. Okay, I guess we'll just get right on the edge and do it. Dang Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. Is it not even gonna let me? Oh man, that would have been so much more epic if that was like our fourth piece or something. Alright, let's check out the uh, chest and the pain. Another key. I just find that on that skull, I'm not sure if it's, uh, not sure what to make of that. Okay, I think we came in right there. Alright guys, well, I hate to end it here, I wanted to do this in one episode, but it's proving to be uh, pretty lengthy, so um, we'll pick it up in the next one and that'll you know, make it so we're pretty close to, uh, we're either halfway or we're about to start. So, um, Anyways, regardless, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please press the like button. I really appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed already, you can check below. If it's red, you're not. Gray, you are. So gray's good. If it's not gray, go ahead and click it. And turn on the bells if you want to get notifications. You can always adjust that if you don't. Um, it's free. And um, I'm really I'm trying to up my sub count. So if you if you like the content, you know, you can always unsub later, but um, you'd be helping me out, so thanks. Uh, and anyways, I've been Asher. 